Hey, Brian. What did you do this off season just to prep for camp? Uh, I rested, um, got off my feet, you know, uh, you know, got in the training room, you know, lost a little weight. Uh, but meant more than anything, I just, you know, mentally prepared myself, you know, for everything, you know, because if you ask me, you know, all of this stuff we doing, all of this stuff, you know, we learning and just this whole game is, to me, I feel like just it's more mental than physical. So, um, you know, I got the physical, I got the physical part of it, you know, down. You know, anytime I step on the field, I'll be ready. But mentally, I have to prepare myself to, you know, come out here, you know, get ready for camp, you know, get ready for all the new changes and all the new things, you know, coming around me. And, uh, you know, just ment mentally, you know, ready to take on the season. So uh, the biggest thing I did was just, you know, mentally prepare myself. And how, how much lighter are you now? And then, you know, the mental part, where do you feel you're at just with your grasp of the offense? You said how much? How much lighter are you? Uh, I'm not too – I'm probably at the same weight I started at last last camp. You know, you know, in the off season you'll put on a few pounds just sitting around a little bit. But uh, I'm at like, you know, 220. That's that's around the same same weight I uh, started started camp with. Uh, um, when it comes to learning the offense, you know, uh, EB do a great job of, you know, uh, just coaching the details. You know, making sure that everybody is learning, you know, the details of every play that, that gets installed and, you know, make sure he drill that into us when we step out on the field. And uh, he also do a great job of just making sure guys don't go without knowing their assignments. And uh, that's been great for us, you know, just help us learn because there's so much being thrown in, at, uh, you know, around this time because we're about to start up. And uh, I just feel like, you know, you know, Coach EB been doing a great job with uh, making sure we learn the playbook. What do you do to mentally prepare yourself? Uh, I just spend time to myself, you know, travel, you know, uh, you know spend time with my, my friends and family, the people that was here with me before, you know, any of, you know, any of this, you know, came about. And, um, you know, I just, you know, have those conversations and, you know, connect with those people that, you know, always have my back. So it's more about not thinking about football. Right. Last year, you had a great training camp to start. Obviously, the, the shooting happens and kind of stops you. How, how much are you looking forward to having a full training camp and like kind of being yourself for a full kind of season? Uh, I mean, I had a full training camp last year. There wasn't a day I missed. You know, I was out there for every single day of, of camp last year. Uh, obviously, you know, the shooting happened a day after the, the last preseason game. So that was literally the week before going to game week. So... It was a very critical timing, but uh, um, this year, you know, you know, we're having go th through my second camp. I expect to, you know, have a great camp, and I expect to, you know, roll into the season with all the momentum in the world, just coming off a strong camp. How much are you grateful, just kind of for everybody and, and kind of the support you got from the organization and, and teammates and your family from everything that happened 11 months ago? Uh, I'm very grateful. It's not a day that I, you know, I wake up and I'm not. Not thankful and appreciative, you know, for everybody that was in my corner, you know, from the time everything happened, you know, to this point. And, uh, and I make sure I let everybody know, you know, every chance I get how much I appreciate them and how much, you know, uh, I appreciate being here. I've seen you catch the ball quite a bit from the backfield. Just what do you kind of make of that and how much of that is kind of tied to the new scheme that's here? I mean, I've, I've been, been able to catch the ball. You know, obviously it's a, it's a scheme thing. You know, whatever, you know, Coach EB want me to do. If you want me to run routes, you want me to catch the ball, I can do that. If you need me to run power, I can do that. Uh, the biggest thing for me, I just don't want to be one-dimensional. I don't want to be, you know, just a power back. I want to be able to run routes, run down the field, catch the ball with soft hands, and continue to grow my game. What do you think the next step for you is as a runner? Just uh, the next step for me as a runner is just being able to real life – make those big explosive plays, like, you know, 50, 60 yard runs, touchdowns, you know, break off big runs to show people that I, you know, I can, I can run on the second and third levels. I can run past guys and I can, you know, I can run for a lot of yards. Brian, over here, over here. Brian, um, I'm curious, like, after what you went through, did you ever feel like yourself on the field last year? Uh, never. Uh, the, the, from the time I stepped back on the field, I was 
dealing with all kinds of things going on in my body, you know, from, from, the, uh, from the incident. I had all type of things going on in my knee, everything going on in my hip. That wasn't, now one time I felt like Brian Robinson. So, you know, that's night and day from then to now. So people should expect a, a lot of, you know, great things to come for you compare all the things I did while I was, you know, limping around all, all year last year. So and that's what I was going to get to. How much different do you feel? Do you feel like yourself now? I feel night and day from, like, last year. I feel more like myself more and more every day. Uh, Brian, now that you've gotten more comfortable with uh, Eric Bannamy's offense, how do you see your role evolving, changing perhaps from where it was uh, a year ago? Um, I feel like I feel like I played in a you know, strong role last year, and um, I don't see much adjustment going on. And as far as my role, you know, um, whatever like whatever I'm called on to do, I'll be ready for. I can do anything in the offensive playbook, like so. Like I said, no no limits on. Know what I can do, and uh, you know I let the coaches establish the role based off of how how they use us, and you know I just prepare for it every day. Hi Brian, going off of Bianami, he seems like he's a real players coach. I saw him as you were stretching, kind of hyping you up, and you were smiling a bit. What was like some of the things that he says to you guys to like really get you amped? Even though it is just training camp, he wants you guys to go pedal to the metal at all times. It seems like. I think uh, the biggest thing with Coach E.B., he want to he wanna bring out the best in you every chance he get. So um, some, some things he was, like, drilling in my head, then he was just giving me a few pointers on just how to be a real pro, how to really take my, my, my game to the next level personally, you know, with, you know, just finishing my plays, you know, finishing down the field, just, you know, being a pro and, and, and putting consistent behavior on the field. You know, that was just some pointers he had kind of just left with me. And, you know, that's enough for me to just, you know, you know go out there and, and, and do that. So, uh. Yeah, I'm just wondering, Brian, yesterday, you know, you greeted every fan all the way down to the end of the fence. I mean, was that intentional? And if so, you know, why'd you do it? And how has your perspective kind of changed coming into this season? I mean, my, my heart is big, man. I, I have a big heart for the fans and everybody who's, you know, a part of, you know, what, we, what we're trying to do around here. And. And we all in this together, you know, and, uh, you know, I love the fans. You know, I want the fans to, you know, be in tune. I want the fans to know what kind of people we, we truly are. And, you know, I want them to show up for us on Sundays. And uh, I feel like you know, I just leave something with them, just show them love. And, you know, it's, it's hot out here, and they standing out here, you know, watch us practice. I, I appreciate all that, you know, all the little things. And I just want, you know, want, want the fans to know how much I appreciate having them so they can, you know, continue to uh, support us and, and be there for us.